Hey, little birds. Is there, are you getting that noise? A little bit, yeah. St. Francis, did you summon the birds? Tell them to be quiet. Praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah. I once heard a preacher and he had this long piece of rope that extended from one side of the church to the other. And he said that this rope represents all of human history. And about right here, my pinky, from this side to the other, this is your life. Now, what we notice almost instantaneously is that compared to human history, our lives are very short. Like from this side to the other, it's relative. The, the, the amount of time we're alive. If you exercise, you shop at Whole Foods, you're genetically blessed, you might live till 100, but that's not even guaranteed. I think the American average is like 80 years, it might be more. Your life here on earth is very short, but what is eternity? We talk about that a lot in our prayers, forever and ever, amen, amen. But there's nothing in this world that really lasts forever, and so it's a hard concept to kind of grasp. But let me help you out. Let's take that piece of rope and let's loop it across the world a couple times, maybe a couple thousand times, so you have a bajillion years worth of rope. Well, we're not finished yet because eternity hasn't even begun. Let's go to Florida, let's go to SpaceX, let's put it on the back of a rocket. Let's shoot it up into the, the galaxy like interstellar. All right, all right, all right. And that's a gajillion plus years of rope, which is, I don't think in, that's not an accurate term, is it? The trailers for the movie called Eternity haven't even begun yet. And so the mic drop essentially is this. The way we choose to live our meager years here in this world determines where we spend all of eternity. Now I'm not a fire and brimstone preacher myself, neither was Jesus, but he did preach about this where in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25, the stakes are high, the stakes are real. And it's called the Last Judgment where ultimately there's this cosmic moment in space and time where God gathers all the people who have ever existed and separates them from right to left. And you know the story. Those on his right are blessed by the Father. They're gonna enter into eternal life. And he says, come you who are blessed by my Father. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was sick and in prison, you visited me. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. And they'll be like, awesome, but I don't remember ever doing that for you. And he will say to them, amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you did to the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. And there's a cleanup crew, and that's not the crew that any of us want to be a part of, but basically they're condemned. And the verdict is this, when I was hungry, you did not give me food. When I was thirsty, you did not give me drink. When I was a stranger, you did not welcome me. When I was sick and in prison, you did not visit me. When I was naked, you did not clothe me. And they're gonna be flipping out that day. Ooh, I didn't know you. I mean, I had a cousin named Jesus, but you clearly weren't him. So like, uh, what? come on, Jesus. And he will say to them, amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you did not do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you did not do it to me. It's a pretty heavy reading, right? And notice something, the criteria for being welcomed into eternal life with Christ did not include this. Like for instance, uh, John, uh, Bobby, Sarah, welcome to your last judgment. Uh, I hope the transition wasn't too scary from life to death to eternal life in this moment, but I have a couple questions for you and I'd like you to answer honestly because after all, I can read your soul, okay? So here are the questions. First, how popular were you? How many followers did you have on social media? You can go ahead and combine them all, that's okay. All right, that's not so good. You can. Uh, Maybe uh, pick up some slack in other areas, okay? All right, so uh, what kind of car did you drive? How fashionable were you? How uh, attractive was your significant other? What was your GPA? What was your uh, annual salary? What neighborhood did you live in? All right, well, thank you so much for answering these questions. Uh, we'll get back to you and let you know where you spend all of eternity. Now, as you listen to this criteria, you're probably thinking, that's dumb, that's stupid. Obviously, Jesus doesn't care how many followers I have on social media, and that's true. But the irony is, this is the stuff we obsess about incessantly, like nonstop. This is the stuff that consumes our waking moments. And the things that really matter, the criteria that really counts in the end, sometimes we forget that that even makes a difference. So friends, this is a, a courtesy call for me, just as it is for you, that we need to spend our days figuring out how can we love God and love our neighbor? How are we living our life? Because in the end, that really is all that matters. Jesus was asked the question, teacher, Lord, what are the two greatest commandments? And he summed it up, love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. Change can happen immediately. And it happens in our hearts, and it happens in the way we interact with the people under the same roof that we live in. 
Uh, it happens with the people that we go to school with, that we work with, that we meet on the streets, that we meet in the stores. How do we treat the people in our lives? Because at the end of the day, mystically speaking, Jesus is going to prank all of us and it's going to be the best prank of all time. It will literally be the greatest of all time. Because at the end of time, he will essentially say, hey guys, come around. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I was mystically united to every human being you ever encountered throughout your entire existence. And whatever you did or didn't do or said or didn't say online or offline to them, you did it to me. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and some will say yes and some will say no. So um, let's get at it. Let's love God and love neighbor.